Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today we are looking at the EVLink Cast, a custom smart home dashboard which allows for easy access to your EVLink connected devices. So let's set it up and check it out. EVLink Cast is a part of the advanced plan subscription from EVLink. And as this is totally software based, I need to first log into the EVLink web portal on a browser. Once logged in, we can see my devices such as my cameras on top, tap one of them and we have a live feed. My temperature humidity sensor is below and we have my light strip here which I can change colors, brightness and also modes with one tap. But this is not the star of the show. We have the cast button below, tap on it and we are taken to a new page where we can set up multiple dashboards. EVLink cast is now version 1.7 and a whole host of new features have been added. Let's make a new dashboard, I'm naming it ground floor and I'm going to add the devices present there. Tap on the device name from the list on the left and the device is added to the section on the right. I have added a smart switch, a temperature humidity sensor and a camera. We can see the devices on the right and they can be rearranged by clicking and holding on a device name and move it left or right. It vibrates when it's movable and the cursor is over it. In a new browser window, type in https slash slash cast.evlink.cc It opens up the cast page and now log in with the same evlink credentials and we can see the available dashboards on screen. Tap on ground floor which is the new dashboard I had created and we can see the devices connected. Tap on the camera window and we can see the camera feed. We can see the current temperature and humidity values. Control the LED light strip via this interface. We also have a chart displaying the humidity and temperature values over time which is cool. This 12 degree dip over here, this is when I put it into a refrigerator. We can customize the background color of the dashboard, add pin based security and even enable weather charts for your location. Being a web interface, we can also open the same on a tablet using the same URL. Log in and we have the dashboards available. Open one up and we can control the devices via the tablet which can be carried around anywhere. And we have the same temperature humidity sensor displayed here. I think it still needs to sync the values as it's very far away from the hub. I can turn the smart switch on or off. Here's the light strip where we can turn it on or off, set the brightness of the LEDs, set a color and also change the modes. We can also see the camera feed on screen. Let's see them affect the devices directly. Here's the LED strip, tap on the controls and we can increase and decrease the brightness, change the colors, etc. Here's the smart switch, tap to toggle the device on or off. What I like about EVLink Cast is that everything is accessible off one screen. Even the charts from the temperature humidity sensor are present here and uh, being run on a tablet it can be placed anywhere for easy access or even mounted to a wall and this allows the family to interact with the devices at home without the necessity of accessing your phone. And the UI is quite intuitive and the information can be read at just a glance and the controls are just a tap away. So this was a quick overview on what can be done via the EVLink Cast app. Do you have a custom dashboard set up for your smart home? Which one are you using? And make sure you comment that below. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.